Hello, Elizabeth here, and today I'm going to show you how to make the cutest pendants for back to school photos. This is a super quick project and it doesn't require any sewing. I just cut the felt with my Cricut machine and assembled with a hot glue gun. This would also work great with cardstock or with different types of fabric and heat transfer vinyl. You can use whatever you have on hand. I'm gonna walk you through everything step by step. I made the designs for the pendants in Canva. The sizing will depend on the felt you're using. My felt sheets are 9 by 12 inches, so I created a 9 by 10 inch triangle using the line tool to give me a template to work on. Felt projects don't really have the option for transfer tape like you do with vinyl projects. So it's best to keep the design simple without any fine lines and use fonts where the letters are connected, like Bukhari script and Heartland script. I made a couple of different variations, one with text and some twinkly stars and one with a number and text and more traditional stars. Once I had all my design elements created, I added another page and used the line tool to make a 9 by 12 inch rectangle, which is the size of my felt sheets, and I put all of my text and star elements inside that box. I did this so that when I make my cuts, I can save space and keep them all on one sheet of felt. I saved the text design and the blank triangle outline as PNG files and uploaded them into Cricut Design Space. I resized the pendant to be 9 inches tall and duplicated it so that there would be 2, and I resized the text design to be 9 by 12 inches. Then I used the contour tool to remove the rectangular outline. I just needed that outline to be in the file so that I could easily resize it and make sure that the dimensions match the pendant triangle. I changed the colors of the triangles so that they would be sorted onto separate cutting mats, and then I was ready to start the cuts. For this project, I used the rotary blade on my Cricut Maker and the fabric grip mat. I set the material to felt and changed the tool to the rotary blade and selected more pressure for a nice clean cut. I cut the text and stars out of black glitter felt, one pennant out of pink felt and one pennant out of blue felt. Make sure you remove any stickers before cutting. The felt will leave little fluffs on your cutting mat, so in between each cut, I cleaned my mat with a baby wipe. Once the cuts were done, I arranged all of my felt pieces according to the designs I made. And then they were ready to be assembled. I used a hot glue gun to stick the text and the stars onto the pennants. Be careful not to use too much glue or it will spill out the edges of your letters and stars. And here is the final result. You can use these in your photos as is or attach them to a dowel. You can add ribbons, pom-poms. The world is your oyster. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment letting me know what sort of projects you would like to see next. See you later.